Hey everybody, on this episode we're going to install the Elite Engineering Catch Can on my C5 Corvette. While the intro is rolling, I'm going to go ahead and install the fittings to save some time. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, also it actually turned out to be a really nice day. So I have my catch can, I have the hockey puck installed um, with the two bolts provided, and I have my fittings in. Now I used a little Teflon tape on these fittings uh, just so I get a really good seal. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook a few things over here. I'm going to pull out the throttle position sensor as well as this tube going into the throttle body. And of course we're going to pull out our PCV uh, down below. So let's go ahead and get those out. All right, now with those out, I'm gonna quickly cover. There are three styles you're gonna find on the C5 Corvette. If you have a Z06, you're gonna find that you don't have this, um, this PCV line that runs all the way around the block. I believe it goes directly down into the block with the PCV uh, in that line that goes down from the throttle body into the block. If you're running a 2004 LS1, you're gonna find that the um, there isn't even a PCV uh, valve itself on the outside. It's actually within the block. So you won't have to worry about that. You have literally a tube that runs from the throttle body into the block. So with that being said, I have an earlier model LS1. Uh, and by earlier model, I mean 98 to 2003. Mine's a two, uh, 2002. So we're gonna go ahead and work with this today. Um, Yellow Vet 04, Dave over there has an 04, so if you have an 04 and you just want to see what his looks like, uh, please check out his video. Actually, I'll link it in the top. So, with the uh, pipes moved out of the way, we're going to go ahead and take the can and our hockey puck and we're going to install it into the block. They do provide the bolts that you're going to need, so I have them here. We're going to go ahead and just slide it in. Oh, the, the, what I wanted to say is we're not going to put it in all the way. Um, we're going to leave it loose so that we can adjust as need be. So, And you're going to want to make sure you have the lock washer on there as well. All right, with our catch can loosely in place, it's time to install our braided hose lines. If you went with the steel braided hose lines like I did, you still need to cut them. I may have mentioned earlier by accident that they come pre-cut. They do not. You still need to size them to your liking. That being said, I used a piece of black duct tape to kind of measure at the end where I think I might want to cut them. And I tended to err on the side of making these a little bit longer than I thought I might like. That way, worse comes to worse, I cut it a second time as opposed to it being too short. Now, I'll be using uh, cable cutters to cut this, and if you do use cable cutters to cut this, you will need to uh, use pliers to kind of round out the end again, because it does tend to flatten out the end a little bit. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get these cut. All right, so after messing with the fitment, cutting it a few times, I finally got the fitment I want. I um, want to try to get this on just a hair better, uh, but I think that's just a matter of pushing it on a little bit better. So I got this hooked up, and let me tighten that down before I go any further. Install this. And there you go. Our Elite Engineering Catch Can is installed on the C5 Corvette. Sorry guys, it is getting dark, so I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. Uh, I'll try to get a few photos and I'll throw them up here at the end uh, with a good lighting so you guys get an idea of exactly what it looks like once it's all back together and assembled. Uh, easy process, took me probably about an hour. The hardest was getting the hoses cut to the right length. 
uh, I cut a few times and it seemed like when I measured it, it wasn't quite working out like it seemed like it should. Um, could have been user error. That's what we'll chalk it up to. So in the grand scheme of things, it took me an hour. A lot easier than taking off the intake manifold. If you are like me and you're a bit of a noob at working on a car, this is a great, great starter project. Um, so yeah, hopefully it works out really well for me and I will let you know, hopefully in a few episodes. I said hopefully twice. I say that a lot. All right guys, I'll catch you on the next episode.